All right, now about this time, we have a special lady on the phone who's going to talk to us about mothers overcoming maternal stress. And this is a syndrome for pregnant women and or new mothers who experience postpartum depression. That is something very serious. We've heard some stories in recent years that have become more prominent about postpartum depression and how it can lead uh, you know, to very serious depression on the part of mothers who have just given birth to babies. It's something that is still not understood by a lot of people. So we're going to hear some things about it and hear about some programs and some other uh, uh, supportive education that could help mothers and help with child care and so on. On the phone with us is Miss Karen Donaldson. She's a mom's counselor at Memorial Healthcare System. Uh, Karen, good afternoon. How are you? Good. Thank you for having me. This is a very important and serious topic here. I myself don't know much about it, like some of my listeners, I'm sure. But mom's is Mothers Overcoming Maternal Stress. Explain to us what the agency is all about. All right. Well, what we do, we I specifically work through Memorial Healthcare Systems the, with the MOMS program. And what we do is we provide services, counseling services, therapeutic services, and case management such as support helping moms and their families to gain support within the community that would be beneficial to their, to meet whatever the family's needs are that we can support them with. Uh, you know, like you just mentioned, a lot of these moms are experiencing the postpartum depression and anxiety symptoms, and they don't have access for whatever reason to the support that they need, or they feel judged, or they're just don't have the support system within their community or within even their environment or their home. So we want to make sure that we're providing something that will help them to have the services they need and know that there's support out there. So so people could understand what what is postpartum mm -hmm. depression and why would you think that, you know, somebody just had a baby and it's a happy time in their life. And for most people it is, you know, but some people go through this serious state of depression. What are some of the things that, that, that cause uh, postpartum depression? What, what could be some of the reasons? Well, I can't give you reasons that can cause directly the postpartum depression, but what I can explain is that a lot of moms, due to the high um, hormones and different chemicals that are flowing through the bodies of, of, the, of women, pregnant women, and then the drop in the hormones after having giving birth, that a lot of these symptoms can sometimes manifest themselves during pregnancy or after pregnancy, after they've delivered. And it affects the, the chemicals in the brain and moms will, some moms can experience this depression. It can, so a lot of moms may have heard of what, like the baby blues, which will usually last a couple of days to a right. week. And then it, when it goes on a little further than that, within two weeks, you're still experiencing it, you know, two weeks, three weeks, a month down. That's when we start, you know, saying that, okay, there's something more than just the baby blues. You know, there could be postpartum depression or so on and so forth. So we encourage our, our moms and pregnant moms to seek that support services that they need because it's a reality for anyone. There's no, you know, some people might feel that, oh, that happens to me. That'll happen because it's my first child, but my second, third child, that won't happen. Right. It can happen at any point, right. it, at any, at, at, after any pregnancy or doing any pregnancy. So, and it's something that's, it just it doesn't pick because your your economic situation, situation or your stress or, level. Right. It can happen to anyone at any point. Right. So just as over the years they've understood depression to be not just you know somebody's lonely or somebody's you know stressed right. out at work. There's a chemical imbalance. It's the same. Balance. It's the same exactly. thing with postpartum depression. Correct. Exactly. Exactly. And it, it, and it, it's hard to predict. You can't say, well, hey, you know, well. Yeah, exactly. You can't you can't go to the doctor and they point out, oh, you know, like you go to the doctor and you have your well, wellness checkup as you're pregnant, and they can point out certain things that may happen because of, 
you know, certain things that they can identify, but that, there's no doctor that will be able to just say, oh, yeah, you'll definitely experience postpartum depression. There, you know, there's no sign on your body. Right. And it can just happen, and we have to be aware of it, and we want the women in our communities to be aware that this is a reality and it's not something to fear or feel insecure about and to seek the services that are out there if if it's needed. But you know, mental health and depression and all those things are sometimes mothers or, or people feel right, it's mm-hmm. taboo. People feel ashamed of, of, of those situations so they may not reach out. How can you I, I guess convince mothers who may be facing these symptoms that is nothing to be ashamed about? Well, what I often tell my my clients that I work with is one of the most important things that is that they can look at and feel comfortable and, and secure in making a decision to seek help and to continue to pursue the help that they need is because it will help them as as a woman and as a person to be the able to be there for their child because m- we as moms, we as women, we want to be able to fulfill the the duties of caring for our child, loving right. our child, taking care of those needs for our child. And if we aren't taking care of ourselves, if we aren't physically and mentally, spiritually there, our mental health is just like our physical health is not in place, then we can't do that for our children. We can't do that, meet the right. needs of our family. We can't meet the needs of ourselves. So it's important that we put ourselves first, that we give ourselves that stepping stone to, and that the feel like it's okay, that it's safe for us to right. go and seek the right. support if we if we see that we need it. And I encourage even when we have family members who might come to uh, groups or events or whatever that we might have, that we encourage family members, husbands, boyfriends, grandmas, aunts, whoever that we might also have an opportunity to be in touch with with that mom to support them in in seeking the support and continuing to seek the support because it's a benefit to everyone everyone. within the family. Is there a time frame, any particular time frame, say, okay, one to two weeks, two to three months, six months, is there? I I know there's, you can't say, well, okay, you will face this (laughs) from one to two weeks, but what's the, is there a normal average to this? Oh, I would say that if a mom is feeling um, these symptoms like an, of different anxiety, you know, they're they're not feeling themselves. They're feeling maybe a little moody. They can't sleep. Appetite changes. Racing of the heart. Feeling lightheaded. Things like that. That and it's going on for about two weeks, three weeks. That they should look into even if they want to speak to their OB or you know their doctor and and let them know you know I'm I'm still experiencing these things and right. I know about you know the baby blues but I just want to know is this something should I be seeking further help because this is, seems to be going on a little longer than the normal baby blues time frame right right so after 2 weeks to a month definitely going seeking that support and asking questions all right. So let's say somebody say, well, okay, it's been two weeks, three weeks. Let me reach out to healthy mothers, healthy babies. Let me reach out to moms, mm-hmm. mothers overcoming Mom. maternal stress. Maternal stress. Yes. How can they reach your agency? It's, it's, it's funded by the Children's Services Council. Um, yeah. How can they reach out to you and say, listen, I would like to come in and, and speak to someone because I have these feelings, but I don't know who to turn to. How can they reach you? Well, to reach... To reach us, uh, they can reach Children's Service Council directly if they want more information through the Children's Service Council's website of Broward County. Right. CSC Broward dot org. Broward dot org. Org. Right. On yes, org, and they have all the information about many different programs, including ours, that are that provide services in Broward County. They could get information from there directly through the program that I work with, Moms, the Bolt Moms program. They can reach our TL, our team leader, Glory, and she is the one who 
the moms would speak to directly to get information regarding participating in our programs. Mm -hmm. I can give you that that number on the phone if that would be helpful for yeah, the go listeners. ahead. Let me have it. Okay, give me t one second. I'm sorry, I had the That's number okay. and it went away <laughs> from me. We are talking okay, with, why are you, Oh, okay, go ahead. Yes, her her number is seven five four two zero four twenty nine zero one. And that's Gloria. Gloria, yes. Okay. We're talking to Ms. Karen Donaldson, who is a counselor at Memorial Healthcare System for Moms, Mothers Overcoming Maternal Stress. Now some of the, the services you offer can be provided in the comfort of of the new mom's home. Home, yes, yes. That is one of the benefits of the program mm -hmm. is that we can provide the services right in the home so the moms have the access to be with their kids. For moms who, you know, don't have transportation right. or wouldn't be able to come to the office or other location to do the services because of the, their needs and their situation, we come directly to the home, we do the sessions there, and try to make it as convenient and as comfortable and safe for the moms to participate. Right. Now, if a mom say, listen, I am having these feelings, but I don't want nobody to know. I don't want my husband to know. I don't want my children to know. I don't want my neighbors to know. I'm sure mm -hmm. that you do have some strict confidentiality uh, uh, system in place for that, right? Yes, 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 definitely. We're not sharing your information with anyone else. We've actually had and I've personally had clients who do not want anyone to know that they're participating in this program or right. they're struggling with this situation and they're seeking help. And we work with them privately. We, we provide them the services. It like one of the options, like you said, we do those sessions in the home oftentimes, but for Memorial Healthcare Systems, the mom's program that I work through, we have options to come to the office if that's more comfortable right. for the mom. So they can, you know, come out of the the environment of their home and come to our office and do the sessions there so they can feel more private and safe in doing that. Right, right. And right. we definitely have, you know, a safe way of communicating with them and their information is not getting out to, to the community or to anyone within their family. It's between us, the therapist, the counselor, and the, our client. Right. This service is great because, I mean, this is something we we starting to learn more about it. Even mental health and depression over the years, we've learned more about it. It was, it was a taboo subject. And postpartum depression is something that some people don't even know, uh, still don't even know exist, you know. And exists, yeah. and sometimes we see a mother who just give birth, and we may think that she might, she should be joyful and whatnot. And and we see distress, and and we don't understand it, and she doesn't understand it either. So this is something that exactly. that that is a great service provided through the Children's Services Council. Don't forget the website is cscbrow.org. You could go on there. Once you log on there, there. Children's Services Council fund many different programs for family and children and moms, mothers overcoming maternal stress is one of them. It's uh, through Memorial Healthcare System and in col collaboration with Healthy Mother, Healthy Babies. And, um, you know, you can get all the information there. So, Karen, very important topic on this pre-Mother's Day program. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for giving us an opportunity to have a voice out in the community that you guys are airing to so that they can get this information, hopefully for themselves and for others that they may see is needed. Spread needed the word, for. right? Spread the word. Exactly. Spread right. the word. All right, Karen. Thank you very much. Are you a mother? I'm going to be, actually, in hey, two more months. Two more months. Almost there. Well, happy pre-Mother's Day to you then. <laughs> next you. year, Next year, you'll get to celebrate Mother's Day. Yes, I will. And don't forget, no, after birth, if you feel any stress, you know who to call. <laughs> I know who to call, exactly. <laughs> All right, have a great day, and thank you very much for sharing the information with us. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right. It's WZAB, Caribbean Connection Radio Show. You see, I tell you, we inform, we entertain, we keep you in touch with your Caribbean heritage. We share so much information with you. We're going to take a break and be back after this with more music on the Caribbean Connection Radio Show. Mike Andrews here with you.